we really are at a position in history that deviates from how the Constitution was conceived, which did articulate distinct roles for the three branches of government and is really predicated in the framers' construction on two things. One, uh, a supposition of civic virtue, meaning that people who are in public office are really doing that because they are going to act on behalf of a larger good, on the national interest as opposed to self-interested positions. And the second is the belief in compromise, that the, um, the government is designed for the branches to collaborate and cooperate with one another as well as to check and balance one another. So that's one theme. And the second is that the current state of affairs did not just happen. In fact, there have been a, a slow chain of events that have long roots in U.S. history that have really sp uh, been speeding up in the last 30 or so years that have brought us to this place. It's not anybody's fault. It's not one party or the other. Uh, it's just an awful lot of things, some of which are stemming from the state of Congress, some of which are stemming from other factors that have all converged in 2020. I think that a lot of people, even if they can't really articulate what is wrong, get that this is not how the system has worked in many of our adult lifetimes, that we have in our memory a time when, you know, legislation was created through a bipartisan process of cooperation, uh, where the regularized functions of Congress, like approving a budget, um, did not become really heated games of political brinksmanship that have led to the government shutdowns on more than one occasion. Um, that it, uh, members of the opposing party were given the opportunity to debate legislation, to introduce amendments. Um, what we have now is really an anomaly from what has existed for much of the history of our country. There is actually, in an age where many Americans are intensely frustrated with politics, that we have one of the most masterfully conceived systems of government ever created. And it is within our lawmakers' ability to write the balance here in ways that might make us feel a lot less disconnected from Congress than many of us currently do. And that this sense of that this doesn't feel right, that this feels like a time in history, that um, we're all at odds with one another. There are precursors to that that have given way to great periods of reform and have sparked social movements that have created a really positive social change for lots of Americans. And so the optimist in me that has spent the last 30 years of my life studying the United States' history very carefully wants to convey that I really do think that we can work our way through this and get to someplace better.